Greetings, wonderful well-beings, wonderful well-beings. I'm Key. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Man, what's up? What's been cracking? <laughs> uh, woo, we back. We here. <laughs> so, yeah. A lot has happened in the past few days. A lot has happened. I mean, things got busy real quick, real quick. Um, so as y'all know, in my last video, I um, my car was repossessed. And um, I know it's crazy because I've... <laughs> I've talked to some like subscribers like, yo, you real chill and calm in that video for, you know, your car to be, be repossessing for you to be like homeless, homeless now. Like if you guys first just now watch my channel, like, yeah, I've been, I was sleeping in my car for going on 10 months. Um, yeah, four months I was in Georgia and then about six months I was in Texas and I could tell you guys where I was now. But I ain't gonna tell y'all yet. But um, yeah, so I was in, sleeping in my car for like almost 10 months and um, it got repossessed last week. And <sighs> people was wondering like, how am I so chill about it? Cause like now I'm like homeless, homeless. And um, honestly, I had no like, I. I don't know it was almost like I knew something good was gonna happen because I knew like it was my car was gonna be repossessed at any point because it was under bankruptcy so I knew you know I, I didn't have that much time I didn't know when I didn't know how much time I had but I knew it was it was gonna come you know in my mind it was just I always knew so that's why every day literally I was just being so thankful every day every single day even though the car situation like sleeping in your car it doesn't seem like an ideal situation for anybody but just man i just felt so thankful and blessed just for the experience i'm telling you it just it's just a crazy experience it's just like uh, surreal you know and it was like i just just drove to austin texas oh i said it well there we go. Austin, Texas, guys. That's where I was. I was in Austin, Texas. Yeah. So I just drove from Georgia to Austin, Texas, like impulsively. Like I had been wanting to move though for a long time to Texas, but I didn't know where. But then like I'm going to get more into that in another video. But anyway, so I just moved to Austin, Texas and I found a job like within three days of moving there, sleeping in my car, going to Planet Fitness to take showers. Um, and it, it was just a, just a crazy, surreal like experience, a part of my journey. And I'm so glad I documented that journey like on YouTube. Like that's crazy. Like I'm gonna always be able to go back and see these videos and like be like, yo, I really, I really did that. Cause it's still like surreal to me now. It's still like, it's still surreal. Like, did you really do that? Like, it's crazy. But um, so. So yeah, so when my car was gone, like like I said, I was just so thankful every single day. I was just, I would just be so thankful for the experience and to still have my car and to, to be able to experience that journey, that part of my journey and just be in a new state and be in a new city that I've never been before, like Austin, Texas, like yo, shit is crazy. <laughs> and um, I had a job and Everybody was cool at my job. I really loved my job. You know, all my coworkers were cool. Like everything was cool there. You feel me? Um, so yeah, like after my car got repossessed, like those those few days, man, I just ha I just knew something good was gonna happen. I just had to stay positive, as you guys know. Like my last video, I told you I I like I start applying for apartments. I'm like gotta get on it and I actually feel like I manifested my place because at first I first like the first few months I didn't like have it clear and that's when the universe the universe needs you to be clear on what you want because at first I was like a little like I don't know maybe I can like do this car living you know and get me a van and like live out my car and like I mean live out the van and like travel the world because the, the car living wasn't that bad other than like 
the things I missed were not being able to cook my own meal and also just not being able to lay flat, you know? So if I would've got a band, you know, had a little mattress in the back, I would've been good. That was my thought. But either way, I knew that there was a possibility that my car was gonna be gone very soon. And I, I just didn't know when. Not a possibility, it was definitely gonna happen. I just didn't know when. So, so in my mind, I started thinking, okay, let's think ahead and think about what we really want to manifest what we really want to ask the universe for you know for if your car you know if you don't have a car anymore so i have been telling myself that i just want a place i just want to get my place and i want to i want to get it fully furnished and i want to be able to just work and just focus on me focus on my goals and everything that i have and all my ideas and plans and that's what i want that's what I was asking the universe for. Like, that's what I want. Just to be stable in a place. Have have it all set, you feel me? And just focus. And, um, yeah. So, after my car got repossessed, I just knew, like, it's... Like, seriously, every, it, every ending is a new beginning. And I... It was just almost like I knew. That's why I was so positive in my video. Like, and I've been so positive these last few days because... I just knew like something was about to happen, something good, and that's why I I don't know and and I really just I just couldn't afford to get down about my car being repossessed because number one I knew it was about to happen, and I just just my whole journey just man seeing how the universe works and how like yo how powerful the mind is I'm telling y'all. <sighs> Can manifest anything you want like and i'm still working on it you know but i i i just gotta it's like staying high staying vibing high staying in a staying in a a grateful place like being thankful for what you have and and almost like whatever you want in your mind it's already there that's how it, you have to you have to be about it that's how i felt i felt like so thankful and happy to be like even though i was sleeping in my car just felt so thankful and happy just to be living and just to be experiencing life and and with that i was having you know visions and um thoughts of what i wanted to manifest and i think that's why it happened so fast because i just stayed positive and thankful for what i already had and i stayed in a vibration like i 